Um, one of the things we're working on with Sebastian is getting more comfortable with his leash because when we put his leash on, he gets uh, kind of shut down. So we want to create a more positive association. So we started by setting his leash on the ground and just putting some treats in it. This would also be something you could do with his food. You could sprinkle some of his kibble in here or you could use treats, of course. So he's just snuffling around in his leash and getting some treats. Got it. Then we're going to toss a treat away. And then we're going to set the leash up again with a treat. Good boy. Okay. Toss the treat away. Get him to disengage. We're going to move it again. And set these treats in it for us. Good boy. Leash. We're going to start putting a cue word on it so we can tell him to go to his leash. Ready? All right, Sebastian. Ready? Leash. Good boy. So it's really similar to how we might teach him to go to place or go to bed. Leash. Good boy. Now let's try it without the treat in it. What are you doing? What is this? the leash. Leash. Good boy. Okay. It's right there, Papa. Go get it. Go snuff, go snuff it out. Good boy. So that's one of the things we're doing to build comfort with the leash. Um, and then we switched him to an easy walk harness to see if that would make it a little easier for him to pull less. Hi. So we're going to hook his leash onto the uh, chest strap of the easy walk. Good boy. And then for our leash walking, we're using a cheesy spoon because he really likes that. Good. And that allows us to reward him without bending down. And so we're just starting with real simple stuff of just follow me. Come on. Hi. Come on. Sebastian. Sebastian. Oh, puppy. All right. <clears throat> we're going to back up a step and take the leash off. Always adjust for our dogs, okay? We want this nasty leash away. And we're just going to work on some follow me. Come on. Good. Okay. Come on, Sebastian. We'll go back and reset. Ready? Sebastian. Good. And then we're going to start adding a word to this. So we could call it heel, or you could use a different word if you like. And we're going to name it when it's happening. Come on. Heel. Good boy. Ready? Come on. Heel. Good boy. Sebastian, let's go. Heal, good boy. So I'm gonna name it, praise it, and then treat it with this long spoon. What do you think, buddy? That's very good. That's been at least we'll try it one more time with the leash. He says no, so that's okay. So we'll just go back to working on making our leash positive. I'm gonna see if he'll come sniff the leash. Good, leash, and then reward that. So again, I'm teaching some targeting. Leash, good boy. One more. I know you're so easy. Leash, good boy. So clever. So if we do a few more reps of this, if you work on this at home, you'll build some comfort level with the leash for him and he won't feel stressed out about it anymore. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?